A few black businesses like Garland Foods in Dallas have made it. They've gone up against the white superstructure and somehow survived. But most black businesses are small. Like many small businessmen, black businessmen find that it's hard to get credit for expansion. That competition with the corporate structure brings built-in failure. Critics say the educational system is to blame, that it doesn't prepare the black graduate in business for meeting the largely white superstructure head on. I don't see evidence of our doing the job we ought to be doing for the black student. And I think that uh, we haven't looked at the levels that we ought to be looking at when we talk about, say, quality education or preparing the student. And I have found situations where when we go to the government, to HEW or whatnot, and say, what are you going to do to see that this is enforced? They say nice things, but nothing really happens. The problem of how to educate the black student for life in the business world is the topic of a three-day conference sponsored by the University of Texas at Arlington. Educators here are throwing ideas, perhaps a few solutions around. But, says Dr. Sykes, the people who are really able to change things aren't here. They're in Austin and Washington, and many times the pleas for change fall on deaf ears there. Betty Hoover, Channel 8 News.